initially when the value of oh did i tell you that this is a rough surface i think you must have assumed because we are learning friction so this there must be friction on the surface okay so <clears throat> nevertheless if there's friction and the value of force you keep on increasing then there will be no tension actually the value will the tension will be zero because friction alone see the tension will appear when there is some movement in the block or if there is some stretch in the string if the block is moving from its position if the block is not at all moving then there is no stretch in the string then the tension will remain zero so unless the block starts to move or unless there is some tendency of movement unless there is some stretch in the string there will be no tension the tension the string will remain relaxed so and the block is not going to move unless the applied force is going to be greater than some value of limiting friction until then tension will be zero now after that as you increase the force this is still not going to move considering that the string is not going to break that means the extra force after that the, this this is the limit on the value of friction the friction is not going to increase beyond this value fl now after that whatever force you can apply that has to be balanced by tension so after this point the increment in external force will be equal to the increment in tension this is how the graph should go okay now let's do one interesting problem this is a block of 10 kg of mass and you're applying some force on this block at an angle of 37 degree with the horizontal and suppose the mu value is also given consider that as 0.5 now the simple question here is will this block be lifted first or will this block be slipped on the surface so both can be possible right you have a external force it has a horizontal component it has a vertical component vertical component will try and lift the block upward horizontal component will try and drag the block horizontally so which is going to happen first is this block is going to be dragged horizontally first or is this block is going to be lifted first as you keep on increasing the value of force from 0 to whatever you from you start from 0 and you keep on increasing the value of force at the same angle so what's going to happen first is it going to be dragged horizontally first or is it going to be lifted upward so finding that will not be difficult and the answer is that it will be dragged before getting lifted so i hope you have got the answer let's discuss let's consider case by case first let's consider what will be at what minimum force the block will start to slip on the ground so for that the horizontal component is f cos 37 degree that is 4 by 5 f this should be equal to the only opposing force in horizontal direction this time is friction friction is mu times normal reaction normal reaction will be equal to mg okay so from here you can see mu is 5 by 10 mass is given as 10 and let's take g conveniently to be 10 so from here the minimum force required to drag the block would come out as 50 into 5 250 upon 4 so this would come out as 62.5 okay 62.5 newton of force minimum is required for the block to move that's okay now let's find the minimum amount of force that will be required for the block to move up the upward force is f 
sine 37 degree and at, when the block is at the verge of being lifted that means it is at the verge of losing contact with the ground and at that very moment normal reaction will cease to exist normal reaction is there because the block is pressing the ground when it is at the verge of being lifted up then it will stop pressing the ground and normal reaction will vanish at that point so when it is at the verge of being lifted then f sine 37 degree which is 3 by 5 this should be equal to mg 